This is why my lipstick doesn't stay on. Today I have a fun haul. I'm really excited. I've actually, of course, never bought this many boots before, <laughs> but I wanted to select several different styles to take a closer look at from Amazon. And I like to have a several in at once to compare them. So they are all different styles. So, you know, you wear them for different events, but if you are in the market for some boots or are just interested to see what I got and what I think about it, then just keep watching. Why so many boots? Well, because I like to compare and I do like to have them all together kind of to try to see. So it's almost like you can't go to the store. So bring a little bit of the store to you. And so that's what we're gonna do today. Unbox and take a closer look at these. Okay, we are not going top to bottom because I couldn't lift all those. So, you know, they got rearranged. So I did want to box these in front of you so you can see how they come in case you're getting them for yourself or as a gift, because I know like my girls love getting shoes and it kind of matters how it comes, especially if you are giving it for a gift. And this first one actually comes in what looks like a gift box and it does have dust, a dust bag. Yeah, the shoe dust bag. <gasps> these are cute. These are cute. Okay, so it is a brown croc print. It has a zipper. I like a zipper because I do not like, I find if it doesn't have a zipper, a lot of times it's too loose for me or you know, the whole shaft is too loose and it's harder to get your foot in there because I am a size nine. So I got a, you know, I got a big boat to get in there. And I always love a good real leather shoe, but a lot of times if I can get something for less, at least to try it out for a season or two or a year or two. I, I like to go that way just to make sure that I like it because I could go crazy. <laughs> has a pretty nice zipper and the interior has like a foam lining. The bottom does have a rubber grip so it's not slippery. Sometimes some of my nicer shoes don't have that. Then you have to scuff them up on the road so they're not slippery. And the inside feels like it has some foam padding. And let's get some measurements. So it looks like a two and a half inch heel and I would say a 14 inch shaft. And the width looks about seven and a half inches. So probably 15 around about approximately. These are approximate, but luckily Amazon has good returns. So if you ever try any of these and they don't fit you like you expected them to, then you can return them because you know, you can't go into an Amazon and try these things on. So this is what we have to do. All right. And on these fit great. They fit exactly how I would like a boot to fit. They feel good with my sock on. I love the height. I like the zip. It feels like nice and thick and secure. The heel height is perfect. It feels great. Even though I could feel the foam with my hand, I can't feel it a whole lot with my foot and my weight, but you can always put, you know, inserts into your boots. And so that's why I love boots because they are comfy and you can kind of comfort them up as well by your socks and adding an insert. I would say, obviously, if you were going to put an insert in, then maybe a size up half a size, but I picked these up in a nine, which is my true size and they do fit me comfortably and well. So this first pair, I love the croc print. I love this chocolate brown. I love the heel height. I love the not too pointy point toe. Everything about these is really, really nice and perfect. Okay, next up these London Fog Collection and they come in this nice black box. Okay, and so a nice riding boot style, which I have been on the lookout for, have not committed to. First impression, these look classic. They look like I would expect. They look like a classic long-term, you know, won't go out of style uh, boot. And I love this color. This cognac color is so lovely. I like this little detail at the top too. This, it's a little faux button flap and it does have a zipper all in the same color. It is a kind of almond shaped 
toe and then the whole bottom is rubber, which is nice. So not a hard heel. So that will be comfy for walking. If you're going out on the countryside to do anything and want some tall boots, they look nice. Now the stitching obviously isn't the best for the price, <laughs> but you know, at a normal distance that anyone would be to you, they look lovely. They do simulate a higher end style. I've just been looking for riding boots for a long time. So I've seen some really high end ones. The sole is hard, so there's no added padding in there. So you would want to add that in if, if you wanted that, needed that. Let's get the other one out. And here they are. I think they look great. Real classic and classy. Oh, those are a bit snug in the ankle. They feel good, they feel comfortable. Let's get the measurements. So about a one and a half inch heel. Shaft is about 13 inches and the width is about seven, a little bit more. So I would say maybe between 14 and 15 inch circumference. So really cute. I am actually really happy with these as well. <laughs> okay, these ones are funny because I had all these boxes sitting, you know, in our entryway area. And my son was like, mom, you got Timberlands? Like, what do you know about those? <laughs> I was like, people used to wear these in the 90s, honey. So I haven't seen these. I know that they've been around, but I haven't seen them or even tried to wear them probably since like I was in high school. And so I was like, you know, let me try. Let me give it a try. So let's check these out. And I would say they are classic. Okay. And it does say that they are waterproof in here and that they are you know, doing more sustainable practices and producing their footwear. Oh my gosh. Wow, these are big. These are cute. They have a really thick solo. So these would be great if you are in hardy weather. I would, I would probably wear these when I went to like the snow uh, cause I don't live where it snows, but these, I mean, they feel really nice. So they feel like a soft suede leather. And then this color is really cute. It's almost like a blush. And then I love the gold hardware. And then it has a tan trim and then this thick rubber sole in a brown. And of course, well-made like the stitching, the different leathers, you know, this contrasting leather here is just lovely. The shoestrings, I mean, you can just tell that these are quality shoes. <laughs> so let's see the inside. I haven't looked at a pair of these in so long and I didn't want to get the traditional yellow ones from like the nineties. So this is kind of a fun twist. I'd say a more modern updated twist. And if you are in hard weather, these are I'm sure very useful since they are waterproof. I had to learn the hard way to wear the appropriate shoes in snow because when I first started going, cause I didn't go when I was little. So I started taking my kids when I was older. And I remember one time I was visiting the snow and I had gotten out early in the morning to go to the supermarket or something, stepped out of the you know SUV onto the parking lot and almost like broke so many bones. <laughs> Luckily I caught myself on the car, but I couldn't even see that it was so slippery. And that was my first lesson to not wear slippers when it, where it snows. <laughs> so of course the inside feels great. These are nice, of course. I should have expected, I just hadn't seen them in so long. And then I just think the color, the color is just beautiful. So, I mean, these are unique and really nice. And then now the, I would say the only thing that's a little bit odd is it says waterproof on the outside. I don't know why they need to write that there. So, I mean, I guess these aren't like super showy shoes. They're more for functionality, but just the color is really cute and you know, they're functional as well. So let's look at the, this platform. How big is it? So this platform is two inches. This is going to keep you out of the water. I didn't even know I needed Timberlands. Oh my gosh, these are so comfortable. These are comfy. Okay, the fit feels great. I have to tell you, I haven't had a platform shoe in a long time, but they feel very secure, sturdy, comfy. The size is great. I picked them up in a nine, 
which is my shoe size and I, I, I love them. I didn't even get to the other shoe. So I guess what I would say I love most about these is they're classic, they're a great brand, they are functional, and I really love this color. Those surprised me. Okay, next up, a lucky brand. And I don't remember what I ordered. So it's a surprise to me too. So nice, you know, regular box. Oh, these are cute. Okay. So this is another one I have been on the lookout for and it is a snake skin print. And I like a booty or a low shaft boot because that's what I wear with my jeans. So I don't like a tall one under my jeans. I usually wear my tall ones with dresses or skirts in the fall and winter. But if I'm wearing jeans, then it's gonna be a short boot and these are cute. These are cute. These will do the job. This is a good brand. They look well made. They do have a grip on the bottom. The whole bottom feels rubber. I really like this snakeskin and it's a dark like espresso color with a beautiful dark. Oh, there's two zippers. There's two zippers on both sides. Why would you need two zippers? That's interesting. I've actually never seen that. So that's maybe decorative, maybe helpful. To and then a classic almond toe and the inside feels like it does have support. So it feels comfortable. These look really nice, actually. They look really well made. That's why I like shopping on Amazon. I always find such good stuff. You know I love, I love my Banana Republic and J. Crew, but sometimes they're charging three, four, hundred dollars for a pair of shoes and i would like to say i keep things for a long time but i don't i don't i even before i was on youtube i'm i just i change styles i change my mind i would say there's a few classics but then i update them so some of the things i will keep but a lot of the things i kind of filter through after a few years so i don't like to spend too too much i would say probably the thing i keep the longest are my purses like my higher end purses but even like jackets, I will, after a few years, filter through or they don't fit me anymore. That's actually usually my problem. I had some really nice jackets and they were in a small. I was a small at one time, if you could believe that. All right, let's try this double zip. Okay, so I did pick these up in a nine. They feel a tad snug for me. So just sitting down, they feel snug. So I'm actually gonna size up half a size in these. Actually, no, I'm not. They feel comfortable and great and perfect on. <laughs> they feel perfect. I like them. I have my sock on and they feel good. So I, I'm a size nine. I'm keeping the nine. They, I think that what is a little different is this toe bed part right here is a bit snug. And I do have a bit of a narrow foot. So that might be the thing that's a little off to me. Usually a shoe isn't ever tight on me. So I'm gonna have to think about it. But I'm between that. If I was at a store, I would definitely try the nine and a half and see which one I like better. You certainly don't wanna be clunking around or having them fall off. So let's see the heel, one and a half inch heel, and then a little baby shaft, three and a half inches. This opening is pretty big and you probably don't need to know, five inches though, so definitely can fit everybody's ankle. So these are another great find. And I actually do use the double zips to get them off. I thought I wouldn't need those. I love trying on shoes. I actually have four racks of shoes now, if you can believe it. I know, and I love them all. And I do share and I do donate and I still have that many. Oh, okay, I think, okay, so these have been super popular. When did this start? It probably started two years ago, but last year the white cowgirl boot was so popular. But since they are white, I was like, there's no way I'm spending a lot of money on white leather boots because they're definitely gonna get ruined. And so I was like, let me try out Amazons. And I like this short shaft. So these are cute to wear with dresses. So the inside does have a foam. I like the tan contrast color. It looks nice. It looks like a wood bottom, but it's plastic, rubber, something like that. But there is grip, which is nice. I like the design on the shaft and then the, um, the perfect kind of squared off toe. Not too trendy, classic. The inside does have some padding. The footbed does have some padding. And let's measure 
real quick. So a two inch heel, about a 10 and a half inch shaft and the width a little over seven. So let's say 14, 15 inch circumference. I don't know why I almost can't say that word. And then it does have the little loops like, you know, leather ones to help you pull them on. So super cute. All right, let's try these on. Roomy, cute. Okay, this haul is going really good. I don't even think I have enough spaces left on my new rack for this many more shoes. These look great. They look really great. So I'm a little bummed that the shaft is a little distorted, but for the price, you know, I'm gonna deal with that. I love the design on there. I love that it's a nice white. So these are really comfortable and really cute. I, I really thought I wasn't gonna like this many. Now I have too many shoes to keep. All right, next up. All right, how does this open? Oh, okay. Look at, as we were just talking about it, a woman can never have enough shoes. You're preaching to the choir. So a little slide out box, that's cute. So that's different. Okay, and I would say these are a classic look. So they are a little ruched here and an all over ivory. These would actually be cute with this, right? And then a zipper all in the same color. So this style, the ruched, the runched, what am I, why can't I remember? Slouch, the slouchy boot is on trend for fall. It usually is in the fall. It's not my favorite look for me because I have like thinner legs. So it just ends up looking a bit sloppy on me. So it is classic. It does have a square toe. It looks like it has a pretty good sized toe bed there. Let's measure the heel. This looks like a pretty big heel. I usually look when I order because I will not go over two and a half. That's my max. So this looks like two and a quarter. So that's reasonable there. And the shaft is about 13. The width well, is going to be a 15 inch circumference. So the inside, the inside is nice. It has like a cottony, almost like a faux fur or something. It feels nice. Be warm when you get all the inside stuff out. It feels like a sock in there. All right. Well, I picked good shoes and I might be keeping all of them now. So initial fit feels fine. Okay, these look so cute on, but they feel a tad snug. So for these ones, I'm gonna try them on a little bit more, but I think I'm gonna go half a size up. But they're cute, they're cute. I didn't wanna like these, but they're cute. I just already know so many dresses I could wear these with in the fall and winter. So another good option and the leather feel, the pleather feels nice. It's soft, it's not shiny, it's a nice ivory, it matches my nice cashmere <laughs> j crew sweater so a great option all right i'm moving around a lot hopefully i don't look crazy okay this looks like maybe another cow boy boot uh oh okay these are cute these are cute too so they have a faux suede finish and because I have a kind of a medium brown boot, I was kind of in the market for a light brown. And this is a taller one. This is a knee high boot, I believe, but it looks just really classic. Really classic. It says the brand was established in 1991. I would love to make shoes, <laughs> design shoes. The zipper is great. Let's check out the heel height. Two inch, nice, tall shaft, let's see. About 14 and about 15 inch circumference. Let's see the inside. So the inside's nice. It's lined, which, you know, real leather boots are not. The inside, it might have a little padding, but I would say nothing significant, but it does have something in there. And this is kind of funny that a cowboy boot has a zipper. I think because they're really tall. Oh, and then it does, it does look like it has a narrower footbed and then a kind of point, tiny squared off toe. Oh yeah, I think these are tall. Let's see. I love the color combo. Okay, feeling wise, they feel fine, they fit good, they're size nine and they fit fine. What I would say the problem with these for me is this shaft is too big for my leg. So that these ones are the, probably the only ones that aren't gonna work for me. The bottom has the, grip 
so you're fine there. Nice rubber. And I would say if you are new to cowboy boots and don't have any, these are a great option. I don't think you can get them wet or anything, but they look nice. They actually have a lot of the similar features that a real one does. It has a stitching around the sole. The design is real neutral, like not too colorful, which I like. The stitching looks good. So overall, I think this is a good boot, but the shaft is a bit wider for me. And then the, the footbed fits me fine. And remember, I do have a bit of a narrower foot. So if you have a wide foot, these may be a bit snug. Maybe if you sized up, but a great option. All right, I hope you're enjoying this haul. If you are, make sure to give it a like and leave me a comment. Let me know your favorite. Let me know if you have any of these. Let me know if you found a, an awesome shoe that I have to try on Amazon because I, you know, I like, I'm always on the hunt and I like sharing whatever's cool out there with everybody else. Okay. Oh, and this box that it came in was nice too. So I would say all the boot boxes today were good. Nothing was bad, which is nice. And these are lovely. So I love this color. This shaft looks a bit short to me on first impression. That's all but maybe because that last one was so tall. It has a classic almond toe, um, a little bit of padding in the sole. The inside is lined, nice and soft, like a sock. It has some faux kind of buckle looking detail and then a full length zip, which that's nice. It does, oh, these are Dr. Scholl's, Dr. Scholl's boots. So they're probably very comfortable. This boot features a roomier shaft Oh, to provide fuller calves. Oh, wide calf. It says it right there. <laughs> so they're probably going to be too big on me. But let's try them out. That's too bad. I wonder if they have regular because I like this color. Okay, so the heel height is two inches. The shaft is about 12. And the circumference, yes, is big. It's eight and a half. So 17 inch. It's going to be 17 inch. So if you have a bigger calf, these are cute. I wonder if these are real leather. They feel nice. These feel really nice. I love this color. They're this almost the same color as the, I guess I don't have to lift my leg here. They look like almost the same shade as the snake skin that I loved. This dark, deep espresso, because I've been really into brown, but I don't like to get things super, super matchy. So I like to have a few different things to kind of mix and match with. These are cute. So I can't tell if the shaft is too big for me. They feel nice. They're a size nine and they're a tad tight. These are one or maybe I'd go half a size up. Kind of your boot with whatever sock you're wearing and if you're putting an insert is more up to you. If you like a thicker sock and an insert for sure, just probably half a size up on all of them. I normally just wear a regular, you know, sock. There's a few brands that I love and I get all mine from Amazon. They are different brands and I have different kind of socks that I wear with different shoes, but I'll link my favorite socks down below if you are in the market and these are all ones that I love. These are so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try some of these on and look at it in editing. Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully it was fun for you. I enjoy doing it, so I'm so happy that you stuck around and hung out to, you know, hang out and see what I picked up and, you know, give me your thoughts on them too. I wanted to thank you so much for dropping in and spending some of your time with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one.